In fleet time. In fleet time. Fleet time. In fleet time. Watching Sabine's brain cocks to bunch the Big Bang. Wait, what? In fleet time? Really in fleet time? Did you fucking watch my whole black hole fucking playlist on this? I describe why the fuck that's a stupid idea. Besides, by the way, all you're describing, realistically, is just space. Momenta. It's like, no, 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 there's space there. You have no fucking clue. You exist in this little bubble thing. You have no idea what there was. So it created this space in the momenta. Hmm? The fuck is this? Are you that stupid? Where'd the membrane go? How did it do that? She's going on about it too. It's like, well, there had to be something that made that. I already talked about that. That's the nothingness, then into potential, then into like gray hole, which then actually makes existing potential, which then has the membrane, which then goes into our neck of the woods dimensional stuff, which then eventually creates your whole little like, oh, what do you know? There's enough little da, 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 and it goes down and eventually, finally, creates enough of something that's from a higher popped up state of dimensional energy that goes into the smaller R3 dimensional energy that then goes into, what do you know? I'm kind of like absolute zero. I'm not going to move. But you know what I do? I define effectively values of what's around me until eventually something just happens to boom. How does nothing this move? You don't understand dimensions, do you? Can't ever have its own entropy. Can't ever have its own fucking movement of any kind. Fucking read for it. Fucking inflaton. It's called an inflaton. Inflaton? That's all? That's all you got? I mean, I already have the inflation constantly goes on. It's never gone away. You just changed and got converted. This is his own whole thing. But it's like, no, 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 we're all a bunch of theoretical figures. We're your degree. No, throwing shit at the wall. You don't like it when some comes around that makes sense, huh? That doesn't have your little gatekeeping degree. You don't like that, huh? Suck my dick and balls. Don't care. Just angry about it. It's like, what the fuck's the point of that? Like, if I, it's a sea notion of energy. Oh, is it? Is it? Where did it exist from? This is just there? How did it show up? Tell me, theoretical physicist. You're not standing up to peer review anymore, are you? Does it get elicited from the very thing that's trying to get the energy? And then it just converts itself somehow, getting it from somewhere? Did it grab onto other energy that was around? How about the vacuum energy, huh? He just ignore that. There was no way that there's a vacuum of nothingness around. I refuse to exist in any aspect or way with that of being around. We're just continuing doing this universe, and there's nothing outside of it. Uh huh. Sure. Fucking retards. Can't conceptualize a larger scale and picture at that point. Why is that so hard? Could look like anything. It doesn't even matter. It could be a fucking flat disc. I don't care. Still something outside of it that exists inside of it. I already described how that works multiple times on my goddamn YouTube. This fucking shit's stupid. Meanwhile, I know why Brian's doing it. I want money and fame, and honestly, I want to be considered more, truthfully, seen as correct because a whole bunch of people are on my side now with this inflaton idea. See, I have a bunch of them with me. See them over there in the crowd, and the, oh, you know that they're on my side. And I'm a famous person, and they know that I'm right. That's smart. And I'll get money to be able to fund my experiments and look very much smarter than the other ones. Meanwhile, my butt 
Yeah, you know, that's a way to go about it. I mean, I've, I've thought about it, truthfully, Brian. You know, okay. All right. All right, I see you. All right, you know, all right. You know, that's a way to do it. Einstein had to do some shit to get his fucking shit done. You know what I mean? Fucking geez. It's not like you guys got enough money for your shit to begin with. Not their fault. But inflate on, inflate, inflate on, inflate on. We just used to call that vacuum energy. There's a space for it to expand and then gain momentum. And information in terms of relating to itself entropedically, which is information passed from itself to others back to itself. What do you know? Quantum relativity and basic bitch astrophysics relativity now exists. Space and time exist. What do you know? We gained a slowdown of it because, of course, information takes time to travel. What do you know? I also get resistance. What do you know? I now have mass. Inflate on. Inflate on is what did it. It's the inflate on. This is a big old mass particle over here, just fucking just hanging around. We don't see it nowhere. It's just here, fucking inflate oning, you know, just doing things. <laughs> it's the stupidest thing. This is around, I'm just inflating, but because I, everything's inflating all at once everywhere around me, we all just view it as if we're always at the same amount. And I'm like, yeah, no, that's already in my theory, by the way. It's on my YouTube. And I describe that in a big old fucking playlist here for the black hole, you know, quantum thermodynamic fucking thing. Yeah, but nobody ever watched it. It's like, who cares? And do you have the math? And you know, the rest of it. And like, meanwhile, I'm not seeing a lot of math on that screen, Brian. I don't just, just, yeah, let me just get some fucking little symbols and blah, 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 and some plus and fucking, you know, some parentheses over here. I'll get a, like a little fucking, eh. Next thing you know, I got the same thing. When you're all just fucking throwing out words that are concepts about what things do. But you need math behind it, and that makes it more legitimate. Same thing with a degree. Mm. Meanwhile, what did you do for eight years to fucking learn what the concepts meant? Regardless of the math. How to, how they work and how they work with each other and how to describe them to yourself and others. Bingo! Easy. Jesus, fuck. I don't need to do that. Once you got that, you don't need to fucking worry about that. You just do the math and fucking set it up. You can fucking write it any goddamn way you please so long as it describes, ultimately speaking, that. Because add, subtract, this, that, whatever the fuck it is, it's all the same. You know what I mean? Reduces it by this amount of what? Uh, well, we're observing this, but did you know about this conversion? Did you know about these influences? You know, that? Yes, but not really. I mean, we didn't observe those. Oh, okay, okay. Right. So regardless of like what it is that we are observing, we are unsure of what those amounts of reducing really are. Yes, but... So it's just reducing in a certain amount. So subtracting it, is there dividing it? What are we doing specifically? Are we dissolving it into something else? Is it going to go off and curve, curve, <laughs> convert into all these other things? No, it needs to curve. That's how space and time works. Looks pretty self-explanatory here. It's just a linear thing. I don't see what the big deal is, even if it is a spherical, like turbulent -y kind of fluid. It's quite linear, obviously. Shut up, you. Oh, okay, shut up me. Okay. Fuck you, too. <laughs> it's all the same. It bothers me. Every time. It's like, where did that come from? Well, I had my own theories on that, but, you know. I can prove those with my own stuff, my own designs, eventually, if I could get the money and everything. But that doesn't matter. You know, 
And it's like, okay, well, let me look at it logically. Like, for real, let's just look at it logically. What well, starts anything? Okay, nobody ever fucking answers that. Why does nobody ever answer that? They always just go blank. It's the worst. <laughs> Is it movement that starts something? No. No, it doesn't. What did you do this morning? God, I have to explain programming to a bunch of quantum physicists. What did you do? Did you think about getting out of bed? Did you think about breathing? Did you have automatics that are already there? That make it so you breathe and shit and piss and so on with the filtrations and whatnot? So that way you have waste, convert, get some energy, heat, continuation of electrical impulses and ionic exchanges. Yes, I, I suppose. But you didn't program those, right? Well, no. But over time, they were programmed, correct? Yeah, right. No, well, I mean, yes. It, it, evolution, exactly, right. What's all physics? A bunch of algorithms? Basically, yes. It's a bunch of, I do this thing, I'm puzzle piece together, eventually shit happens. It's all, all of that is. Meanwhile, all right, let's move on. This stupid dumbass named Cursed. And flag A, they still have B. Uh huh, sure, whatever. Meanwhile, I couldn't believe that to begin with. But maybe he's right. But it's really easy to lie online to make themselves look better when somebody keeps going after them when they kept trying to fucking be a dick to you. You know what I mean? Oh, you're a big creator. No, I'm not. Yeah, but you're, 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 you're going after him. Oh, no, I'm not. He's being a dick. Of course I'm going to fucking go after being a, a guy being a dick to me. Why wouldn't I do that? You don't stand up for yourself? You just let him do it? Get over yourself. Fucking stupid dumbasses. What was he talking about? All right. Starting of things. Things exist, right? Let's just go with that. Right? They exist. They have whatever the fuck it is that you want to call it because it could be a myriad of different fucking words. We have programming, algorithm, rules, laws, perspective, blah, 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 interference, interaction, inter influences. Multi blah 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 It's a bunch of blahs. It exists, therefore it has things. Let's go with that. Now, what makes things do things? Potentials. Potentials! Thank goodness somebody said potentials. Fucking hell. All it takes for anything is potentials. That's all you need. Potentials. Potentials. Ooh, I'll go over there. It's potential I might get money. Potential I might get sex. Potential I might be able to piss. Potential I might be able to shit more comfortably. Potential I might get food. Potential I might get water. Potential I might live more. Potential. That's all you need. Potential. It's a potential space I can exist in. It's a potential thing I can exist in. It's a potential thing that I can definitely do. It's a potential thing that allows me to no longer be. Because I don't want to. Too high of an energy. Too low of energy. Negative, positive, positive, negative, negative, positive. Potentials. I'm a charge difference. I'm entangled. I don't actually know if I'm really technically speaking negative, but I actually have way too many electrons in my goddamn fucking orbit. It's really weird right now. I'm a Bose-Einstein constant state that has a bunch of electron orbits that are fucking absolutely entangled and weirdly very much vibrating in a very odd manner that keeps me separated from all these other ones that are near me. I have way too many electrons that are way too high in an energy state that makes no fucking sense whatsoever in a highly negative manner. 
But if somebody were to jiggle me the wrong way and slightly look at me just a little bit tad too much, <coughs> potential. I've got potential. That's all it is. Everything you look at, every fucking stupid bullshitty thing you say, what is it? Potential. Potential. Bingo. Somebody said the magic fucking word. Futures, potentials, dividends, blah, 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 for the fucking stupid garbage people that need economy words. That's all they are. It's all a bunch of words that mean exactly the same fucking thing. There's less or there's more, and it wants to equalize. Entropy, less chaos, more order. That's all it ever took. That's quantum thermodynamics. That's all of my math is based upon. And guess what? It works astoundingly every fucking time. Shockingly, it describes literally all things. That's right, literally all things. Potentials. I am a potential this, I'm a potential that. No, 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 you're a potential over their thing. Yeah, but like all of these things, I know. But what's the less res least resistance, right? But uh, 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 this, yeah, and you're going to do that, aren't you? Yeah, well. <laughs> well. Is there something else of your rule set and so on with the observations to yourself and that thing that's there that allows for you to view it in such a way and have the energy required to ultimately do that thing differently? Maybe. I'm not going to tell you. Oh, that's because I'm not looking at you very well, am I? Let me just look harder. Oh, I don't like that. I'm going to go over here now. Oh, okay, fine. Fuck you. Behold, potentials. Quantum thermodynamics. Let's see, how many more superpositions can I make? Baryonic? Oh, we're definitely not basically right next to each other, but you know, you can't really fully truly see us and we're just gonna shrink our overall field area of effect. And our overall influence of pressure onto anything around us. So that way, we're definitely not really pretty close to each other. We're now as one. Guys, they'll think we're one. We're going to just fucking shed some mass influence of information for an entropedic version of ourselves. But we're really just one. Oh yeah, it's really just one. Winkity. Holy crap! The information was still there and there's multiple suddenly. It's almost like they can relate to themselves and each other very close by. Potentials. Inflate on. Inflate on. Inflate on. It's inflate ons. You got some wontons too? I'd love some. Because you're whining. You little whiny piece of shit. But not really, because it's a wide area network. You didn't even understand. The wontons. Wide area network. Tons. Because apparently it's inflation. Now it's inflaton. What do you know? It's the wontons. We got the lantons. Got all the tons of the informational internet variety. What does that mean? It means I get a bunch of pressures and information and quantum informational constants that are constantly updating all the time, reducing and resisting that which will or maybe not occur. Not to mention, this one shocks them every time, it seems. I love this. It's like, no, what is he going to say? It's another fucking eon? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. You mean ion? That's just a charge, isn't it? No, all plasmas are ionic. 
There's no fucking goddamn like electron orbits over there. Yeah, no, but there's a lot of electrons on this one. Oh, is there? I guess there's two different types of plasma. Meanwhile, where's this going? Two different types of information, kinetic and chaotic. What do you know? It's still thermodynamics. What do you know? It resists itself. It takes time to do it. We experience that as what now, everyone? A curvature and pressure difference, which then means decoherence turns into mass. Mass. There you go. A mass view. Quantum gravity and relativity. Solved. Easy as fuck. I got some wontons and some lantons. There you go. I'm getting some, uh, let me, let me fucking, what is that? Not even a graviton. It's just a pressure wave. It exists as a field that's elicited from wontons and lantons. I guess a wave function by any other, right? Since you're going to make up fucking weird words that aren't even really truly what it is that you're describing. Inflation? You're not describing inflation. You're describing a different type of expansion. A continual effort that's being placed into you. Where does that come from? Where does the energy come from to constantly, constantly keep making you bigger and bigger, even though all things around you are always getting bigger? Where does that come from? Hmm? Potentials, exactly. Potentials, easy as fuck. You should understand that that one, you're smart. You are a smart one. All the rest of them around you, you're, they're dumb. You're one of the smart ones right now. Potentials. Potentials is all you need. Potentials can elicit into any given energy. They're like a stem cell. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, yeah, no, it differentiates, and now it's this thing that I need it. Shockingly, that worked. Oh, wait. Is that shocking? I do it, like, every fucking time every day. Is it that fucking crazy? No. Well, you didn't even notice it, because, of course, why would you? Just like you're in a pressurized atmosphere, you barely even care about the air around you being the pressure it's at. Right? Until something comes along, and it goes... Yeah, you didn't know that you were an heir, did you? Well, you know, hey, whoomp. what is that, a black hole? Oh, what the fuck was that? What the hell? Anybody else see something? No, I saw the absence of all things, it felt like. Meanwhile, what does that sound like? Information traveling only one direction. Bingo! All the potentials landed going one singular direction. And all the rest of the energy keeps allowing them to do it. Lantons and wontons. So you want to make inflatons instead of a vacuum fucking particle and field. You need to describe a vacuum in fucking what? What? It's a vacuum. Why are you doing this? What is going on over here? It's inflate. It's infl it's, it's inflatons or potentials. You solved that for it. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Sure. When it's going and doing something, sure. <laughs> and they just showed up. You know what made the damn fluctuation occur in the first place? At least I've got that answer. But that one's pretty easy to understand. But it's like, you need to understand wontons and, and, and lantons for what it's worth a little bit. But if they have those names, they'll just come up with something else. It's like, well, you can understand internet shit, wide area and local area networks. Because they're fields and they're fucking pressure waves. That's all they are. But like, no, no, I don't like these. So stupid. Let's just come up with it. It's infantons, the phononic variety. It's the mastons. Yes, information intrapedic variety. That's what they are charge potential differentiation. <laughs> 
Meanwhile, a bunch of people that know math. I'll write that down. This is big. This is so great. Come on. There you know, right? Meanwhile, my ass. This is boring. What starts nothingness? What makes something exist? Right? I always go to the therapist. He used to teach me. Why are you fucking thinking about something like that? He didn't say it at all like that. But it's effectively what he really meant and implied. <laughs> it was like, you think really too far ahead and you get really anxious, don't you? Say, like, why don't you worry about like what you have currently, live in the moment to do? You know what I mean? The whole fucking, that kind of thing, right? Uh, the mindfulness stuff, right? Yeah. They can't fucking exist in that aspect or capacity. No, no, not right here now. I must worry tremendously about this fucking totally, like, what? Level of what? No, stop doing that. No, get out of there. What are you doing? We're nowhere near that. We haven't even figured out this part. We exist as this. Is potential land even a thing? Are there even potential tons? Po po potons? Po whatever the fuck. Right? Potentions. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. Stupid. After a while. This is stupid after a while. It's like, what are you fucking worrying about? All you managed to do is smash something and then make it heat up to such a degree that you fucking saw it decompose a little. Doesn't mean it was compressed. You have no idea what it means when it's compressed. You only have an idea when it has this small amount of mass and this small area and this expanding already thing with no amount of pressure that's keeping it like it is where it is. If there's ever been any kind of ball that's like that, that happens to in the center have to be more resistant than the outside as it expands, what does it really do? How does it really ultimately tunnel around? Like I talk about in my comment for fucking PBS space time for like this other stuff. You know what I mean? And then there's Dr. Becky or something. Anyways, point is, it's, it's one of those things where you end up realizing, it's like, what does it matter? Of course it's going to tunnel around. Of course it'll fucking try and make itself as slippery as possible. Lowest amount of resistance to whatever it can do. Because it's already moving, it needs to make it burn a little bit to effectively continue itself having momenta. You know, it's already in motion. Might as well continue making it as easy to continue on. What do you know? Newton's laws still work and apply, even in the quantum realm. Even for my thermodynamics. Right. But what does it exist as? What makes it exist as? It's like, what does it exist as? What does it matter? Everything's just a big old fucking... I slightly perturb whatever that given field and area of whatever stuffity stuff thing it is. You know what I mean? Like you're all a bunch of amalgamation of little fieldy, fluidy, thingy things. You don't get it. You're a density pocket of gases and fucking shit like that. Like think about it like an area of effect. It's like I vibrate like this and my tuning fork through this less as dense stuff happens to then deliver it as this over there as a nice resonance and it does things together. I strangely understood that. Yeah, you fucking retard, you little Wi-Fi hopping piece of shit. That's your information, you little fuck up. How come you can't fucking pick it up, what I've been saying? Since you're so smart and you got your PhDs. Should have fucking figured that out already. You're gonna fucking challenge me, huh? Go bully someone that's of your intellect level, not mine. damn bastards but it's like alright so what makes things exist was there ever a time when there wasn't something existing right good questions really to ask it's like what does the meaning of existence mean you ever think about that 
there are levels of degrees of existing. A really good lie, you know, it's holographic, it's right there, a big old sheet of fog, right? And you're in the audience, you really think it's there. It's not. Doesn't matter how hard you think it's there, it's not. It's a really good lie, though. But to you, you'll never know. That's your perspective. You'll never know if it was or wasn't. It goes away, whatever. Your reality is effectively a fog to something else. Just as they are a fog. 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 As a point around to any of them. Is it the observation of light interacting? Why? Things obviously exist without light well and truly below any of it, right? So what constitutes making something exist? Influence, interaction, interference. You're still in nothingness. You never stopped being nothing. You just touch each other the right way. And it feels good. That's right. Nothingness is still what everything is. The definition of there isn't space and time going on at all. It's moving, yeah, sure. But you influence, interact, and interfere with each other. And what does that make? Enough of an existence for you to be able to perceive, know, and more. That's right. You don't exist, except you are real, except you're not really that real. And you aren't nothing, except you're quite still literally a part and definitely very much nothing. A bunch of resistances? Yeah, so whatever. For you, yes, but for something else, no. Not even a small amount. You don't get it. Do ya? Nothing had to exist. But it has no space and time. It can certainly make the illusion that it's there. Because to it, when it is at that point, what happens? It's infinite. Bingo. There you go. Nothingness becomes infinite. Once it's infinite, then that means you have space and time. And you can move inside of it, around it, and all the rest. You create movement because it in its own right is so vast it can have lessers of nothing and mores of nothing potentials and bingo goes the dynamite that is how everything started from nothing there you go potential land that i made you're real that's why the gray hole potential land is a thing, and then it goes more existent, because it won't go so close to the nothing, and then it goes to our membrane, and then it goes to eventually to our neck of the woods. We just interpret it because we're a fucking organic computer the way we do. We see a vibration of a wave function that influences a cone and rod, and we see light. We perceive light to be what it is, but in fact, what is it really? Nothing. Practically speaking, yeah. More something than nothing, that's for sure. You get it now? Inflate on! Inflate on! Wanton, lanton, nothing, but a bunch of movement trapped around itself, doing things. It's all it is. It's all you've ever been. Every universe will ever be a part. Any informational exchange and all the rest. There'll eventually be, if you get really, really far, a bigger nothing over there. Or something else that's making its own universes. We're just in this one.
Except they're all attached, right? Yeah. This one's more of a nothing of of a different sort. You know what I mean? You ever think about that? It's like there's a more of a space nothing. All it does is create space. That's outside of us, or observable. Then there's the nothing that creates the movement to go to the space it created below us, below the foam. That's right, it's not a part of your foam. Well and truly below. Potentials, well and truly below. Membrane land is where the foam ends and you go into potential land, which eventually will get you to nothingness. Nothingness down there is connected to nothingness out there. And it all exists in between us, helping us inflate with its potential energy. Instead of a quantum vacuum pressure, unfortunately for any of you, it's not. Yeah. No. That'd be nice, though, wouldn't it? It's space. You're mixing together with space. You already have potentials everywhere. You need space to do things. It has to constantly create space for you to have potential to get anywhere, to do anything, to have anything happen. You've never even noticed the nothingness that moves us. That created us. And you said in your theories, no, nothingness can exist. There is no such thing as a quantum single point. It's not single. So there's that. But, I mean, yeah, but how would that work? Uh, you don't understand dimensions very well, do you? You always stated that there was an infinite amount of distance between you and the next thing, but you still do things, right? Like, yeah. Well, uh-huh, right. So the other thing is this below the membrane. What is that? A bunch of driving pressure. Correct. Because it creates a potential. Yeah. But of course, it created an outside to itself. And yet they are still going to be connected because they are both non-existent things that have no space and time. But in so interacting the way they do with us, what happens? They create space and time. They create space and time. That is correct. That is an energy. What do you know? They call that destructive and constructive interference in the land of some people. I call it conversion. It's an energy converter. Both of them are now separated in such a way that they want to meet each other. You're in the middle. What happens? Resistance. Resistance indeed, and you get potentials. Potentials then mean you can do something. And what happens with that? It gets converted to space and time. Simple shit. You get injured, B, because of course, I need to keep going. That gives me momenta. Gives me anything. Get information that has to travel. One clump to the next. Now you have the idea of space existing. All the little fluctuations of all of it. In between. And yet there are still pockets of nothing there. It's always going to be around you. And you're going to want it. So you don't exist without it. It's an inflate time. I need to come up with a, a fucking ton that isn't the truth. I need to be smart and big and powerful. How about just, uh, it's just this? Because there's no other way for it to exist. It 
it still allows for your stupid little like, oh, guess what? I'm causal set theory. I'll just pop and fade in. Still works. Big Bang's still going to happen too. Both of them will occur. And oh, by the way, there's a time before your universe that definitely influenced you. She's fucking talking about this to being over here, Austin Felder. And there's no way of knowing. Yes, there is. Are you insane? You can absolutely determine that. You can absolutely get that information. There's influence of what makes you you. But no. This is boring me. I already know I'm going to have to deal with some stupid damn bastards I don't want to fucking talk to. Unlike fucking uh, TikTok. I don't like them. It's like, no, I could talk to these these damn ther- you know theorists, right? That's what they are. It's just a different type. It's a physics theorist, particle theorist, field theorist, whatever the fuck. Or theorist, a person that goes through the mind, of what we know, and then you know, what maybe, maybe this. And it can be right there among them, no problems. And some dumbass online will go, you're not that smart. You're not actually that able to understand this. You didn't consider something that actually you did. I just don't know that you did because I don't know enough about this. just get bored watching a bunch of fucking know-it-all retards online suggest to me somehow some fucking stupid way that they're the ones that I need to fucking like even consider their opinion or thought feelings or any of it prove anything to them look at these theorists they can't prove jack shit to you but because they're famous because they're this because they're that they're more credible. Doesn't make them actually more legitimate or right at all. Or even the credibility that you so claim they have. Especially, and this is the worst part for me. I go, all right, so I'm going to look at all of that. And then I go, oh, all right, all right, and this match just means these things, right? And these are your stupid little words for the tons and eons and so on, right? So I guess it would fit together with these things that you'd put together. And then it's like, right, but no, I'm going to change this into, guess what? It's these words now. These are the words you're going to use. And this is what they mean. And then the math will check out. Because it's like, guess what? The observations are still working. It's like, how do you observe all of these things? Yeah. It's like, well, you know, my YouTube's chock full of ways to do it. We're here right now, listening to you. Yeah, okay. I care. Fucking fuck-ups. Continue ruining your entire political system as if you know anything. Continue destroying your planet as if any of it matters. Continue using your false belief system of a bunch of people are on my side as if that makes it actually correct. Continue doing your standard bullshit that makes me show off and always for myself. Well, I should never listen to you. Asking questions like that, saying bullshit like that, like you matter, like you're something I have to fucking get on my side. I don't. I don't care. If you are, great. If you aren't, I don't care. You're no different than anyone else. Here's another different theory that might fit what you're saying, but it actually used a whole bunch of your stuff that definitely I agree with, but I want it to be my way. With my stuff that I'd prefer to be having it like. Meanwhile, a bunch of theorists over here go, 
Oh, yet another one, huh? <laughs> so you had some like thoughts with someone, right? You drank a little, came out as a paper. They have a proof again. What do you know? You're no different than the people that you think is below you. Do the same dumb bullshit. Look at them. They're going to create a fucking goddamn YouTube video. Off of some of the same fucking thing. Make a bunch of millions and they'll be resentful. And everybody will think you can. Hey. Uh huh. You're still the piece of shit because they're legitimate and valid for saying that. You did. You stole it from them. But in reality, we all know what the truth is. It's not what that is. Your little version is to force it to be like yours. But in reality, it isn't. You remove the vacuum, you remove any of the fucking actual, real quantum gravity. That's clearly there. You remove entropy. You remove all of the things. You force it to only be existing as your version. You don't realize decoherence is never decoherence. You're forcing it into your little bullshit axiomatic garbage that doesn't fit. Because your observations, by the way... Showcase mine to be correct and yours to be incorrect. But no, tell me again how you thought of something. How you came up with it. You didn't. You know what the worst part is for me on that one? I was talking out loud and doing this back when I lived with my parents in Chandler around the time either just before Trump got elected or just after. Saying this exact thing. Well, you know, Brian Cox did come up with a whole fucking video saying, Oh, the inflatons, the sea and ocean of energy. Just like I said back then. There's no way anybody in any aspect or way, shape or form, could have ever been listening to him. They eventually got that all the way to Brian, who's chomping at the bit to get some money and fame to get somewhere. With this shit. But we all know the truth. That's exactly what that is. The universe and anything else will always know. It's me that came up with it. It's a bunch of idiots that mean nothing. Think that there's something. They can just... Minimize away all their bullshit that they did to me and others. Get fucking fucked.